Hey guys, my name is Mary, and today I'm gonna teach you how to be a hotshot machinist. <laughs> Get it? Hotshot, because. Never mind. Now, you can go about becoming a machinist in one of two ways. First, you can go to school and get a degree in mechanical engineering, but let's be honest, you won't have any time to play video games because you'll be too busy flipping burgers to pay off your student loan debt. Which leads us to the alternative, phoning it in, ladies and gentlemen, phoning it in. See, if you act like you know what you're doing, people won't question it. You just need to put on a little show for your party members, and that's what I'm here to teach you. I mean, to be completely honest with you, this job doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. To prove my point, look at this. You can bang a wrench against the side of your gun, bam, suddenly you can guarantee a critical hit. Uh, slap the back of your rifle like this, bam, increase attack speed. You see, Machinist is kind of like my ex-girlfriend in that I don't really understand what the hell's going on half the time, but I really like the way it looks. More to the point, being a machinist is like being a politician. You promise a lot of things, but we both know that you're not actually going to deliver any of it. You just need to talk a strong enough game to convince the mindless sheep that you're actually doing something worthwhile. That being said, let's move on to technology. The turret. This is probably the most iconic feature of the machinist. However, it's basically like a set it and forget it type of ability. I highly recommend setting your turret at the start of a dungeon so it can guard the entrance while you proceed deeper inside. See, it's going to be protecting your rear. Uh, it's going to be preventing any enemies from sneaking up behind you and getting a good sneak attack in on you. You won't have to worry about it for the rest of the run, which is fucking awesome. But on the off chance you do need to use it elsewhere, I like to use these little analogies to help me remember which turret I should be using in any given situation. You see, the round one is like a hamburger, and the skinny one is a french fry. You only ever need one hamburger, but you need a lot of fries, right? So if you have a lot of enemies, you use the french fry, and if you have a single enemy, you use the hamburger. Makes perfect sense. You can also make them flash different colors, but I'm not really sure what that exactly does. However, it is really helpful for throwing rave parties in the middle of your dungeon. There's also this thing called a Goss Burl, and what this little shit does is basically turn you into a caster. Now I know what you're saying, but Mary, I'm a machinist, not a black mage. You're goddamn right! Get that shit off your hotbar so you can get your Usain Bolt on, if you know what I'm saying. High five! You do have this thing called ammunition, but honestly I think it's more for show than anything. Uh, I've yet to run out of bullets, even when I'm not using the ammunition abilities, so it's pretty safe to say they're just there to spice up your life a little bit. However, there is one final ability I'd like to talk about, as it's essentially the most important ability in your entire arsenal. The wrench. Tell me that is not the coolest fucking ability. It's a goddamn wrench, son. Keep that shit on cooldown. But do remember to pick it up after you throw it, because we're not made out of money, and wrenches aren't boomerangs. See, you'd know that if you had an engineering degree. Now, the machinist rotation is so complicated that, quite simply put, you're going to need an engineering degree to play it anyways. At least that's what all of the machinists I have played with have led me to believe. But since we don't have said degree, we need to find another way to play the job. Personally, I recommend that you place your hands on your keyboard and pretend you're Mozart. Which is kind of like wang jangle the fuck out of your keys, right? Because you're bound to hit something useful eventually. Probably. But I think that about wraps up this guide, so thanks for tuning in, boys and girls, and I will see you next time as we delve into the finer details of the paladin job. Also, if you want to fix your TV, just go to Google, you goddamn walnut.